Attention, class. Our word of the day is equinox. Ooh, ooh. What is it, Bobby? What kind of ox? Equinox. Isn't that a Chevy? Well, yes, but... Seasonal equinoxes happen twice a year. They're when the sun shines directly over the Earth's equator, making day and night about the same length no matter where you live. What we're seeing on March 20th of this year is the Vernal Equinox. I have a cousin named Vernal. No, you don't. Regardless of what your cousin is named, Vernal comes from a Latin word meaning spring or spring-like. And this week's Vernal Equinox is the first official day of spring in the Northern Hemisphere, at least as far as astronomical spring goes. See, there's a meteorological spring and an astronomical spring. And if that sounds confusing, it's because it is. Meteorological seasons go by the calendar. March 1st kicks off spring, June 1st starts summer, September 1st is fall, and December 1st is winter. But astronomical seasons are determined by the position of our tilted Earth in relation to the sun. Equinoxes, when the sun's over the equator, mark the starts of astronomical spring and fall. Solstices, when the sun is at its greatest angles over the equator, mark the starts of winter and summer. So an equinox is not to be confused with a solstice. Wasn't that a Pontiac? Shut up, Bobby. Whether you're talking about equinoxes or solstices, they're different depending on your hemisphere. This week's vernal equinox is only for the northern hemisphere, where 87% of Earth's population lives. But those in the southern hemisphere are seeing the autumnal equinox, their first day of fall. So all seasons aren't created equinox. And while critics might call that equinoxious, this solst isn't something to put them in a dark mood, especially when we can shed a little light on the subject. I'm Carl Azus, reporting for Sunlight.